Yeah, so the W, the W, man. So I'll tell you a story. I was a coach at, at Utah State, and we came here to play the Huskies. And on my way in, you know, from Bellevue to here, I kind of went through the whole game plan like I was here. And I remember the fans loaded on that 520 bridge, you know, moving from side to side so the bus could go down the middle. And as we were approaching the stadium, you know, in Hawaii we call it chicken skin. I think up here in the middle they call it goosebumps. But I already felt it. And when I entered the stadium, I saw that W on the field. And I instantly went to the W. Now the funny part of the story is that they had five security guards around the W, which they should. They're protecting it from the opponent. And, and I, I clearly remember his name, his name was Richard. And Richard said, so you, you cannot touch the W. And I said, what's your name? And he said, Richard. I said, well, Richard, I can. I bled on this field. I poured my sweat and tears on this field. You see, that's what the W means to me. If you don't know this, we don't practice with a W on our helmet. And you earn that right on Saturday. You go out on that field and you practice the way you will play. It's funny, I've been itching looking at my helmet each day, seeing just a blank gold surface. And you know, that day when I come in and see that W on the side, I mean, it's definitely, it's gonna mean more and it's gonna, it's gonna feel different for sure. That, that kind of stuff gets me excited, you know, having that W on the side, knowing that it's University of Washington and honoring just all those people that came before us wearing the same helmet each year. You know, it, it shows not only the tradition that, that we have here at Washington, um, but the pride that we take in our team, sticking to our true colors, and I think that's something really important. Nothing better than that purple and gold. I think the traditional gold helmet is a sign of longevity. As many things change over time, this is one thing that hasn't. You know, tradition is pretty rich in the, in the UW football program, and uh, they've worn the same thing now for almost 100 years, so. You know, times change, but the helmets don't. It's kind of like getting your guys ready to go to war, carrying the flag through battle. It's something between the lines that is very sacred to us when you wear the W. And that's, that's here. When you walk on that field, you protect everything. When they place that W on your helmet, you protect that. Our helmets are never on the ground, ever. You take them off, you ask somebody else to hold it. Or we hold it up. Watch on kickoff, fans. You'll see our helmets. We hold that thing with pride. And we'll rock that thing with the fans, up and down. Yes, sir, this is our W. We hold this with pride. For all the guys that have sacrificed before us, when we go on a roll, that emblem is our flag. Being that my dad played offensive line just like I do, and wearing number 51, I mean, it's just such a huge honor to put that on my back and understand, you know, this is bigger than me, you know. It's a whole picture, it's a family thing. I know for sure, for all the dog fans, as well as the dog before me, it's a right, it's a privilege, it's an honor. You can walk on that field and touch that field. What alumni did, that's the biggest honor that those guys have. They're back on the field. Right? And then that shows you, as you run out that tunnel between all those blankets, that shows you every single person and the legacies before you that you represent as you run out the tub. That's a dog.